when horses have boundaries they feel safe in that because they it's like there's clear communication there's rules it's like okay I, I understand them far enough away that then they go out and around if they're in close to you and you send them they run through your bubble it's black and white it's very clear communication and then he can stay connected to me he can stay engaged because he's not confused quite half disengaged so I was like oh if I'm not particular about that then next time he'll do even less I get this you're speaking a language I understand but when we're not clear and, and consistent with our horses and the rules of the games keep changing all the time they switch off they get frustrated they get anxious then you get all these behavioral problems yeah low energy breathe into your belly tash that's better Tash is being clear, the rules are not changing. Sometimes there's pressure, sometimes there's not. You know, it, it's really clear. But you're best to do less sooner rather than more later when they're on top of you and then you gotta do a lot. We're trying to teach him how to steal his brain. So it's more about, we're doing skills and using techniques to work with our horses, but it's more about where they're at like whether they're in the flight mode or busy brain anxious or they're shut down okay what can we do to help them find that engaged connected relaxed place that feels good for them and feels good for us